Hi, my name is Angela Gabella. I am a functional neurologist and a fellow of the American Board of Brain Injury and Rehabilitation. I own a practice in Raleigh, North Carolina called Precision Brain Center. I specialize in treating many concussion injuries, traumatic brain injuries, and very complex neurological disorders. Oftentimes I get different questions um, and one of the big one is how long do concussion symptoms last and then what is post-concussion syndrome? So I'd like to clarify some of these for you today. And we're first gonna discuss um, what is the normal range that concussion symptoms should last. So when we look at the research, they say in anywhere between two weeks to a month, um, a patient is gonna go through a period where they're gonna need a lot of rest. They don't wanna return back to the sport right away. Um, but that most patients uh, after concussions should get better after that month period. However, um, our brains are very unique and very different and oftentimes you see that patients don't get better after that month period. Now, if you are in that bracket and you're not feeling better or your symptoms um, are getting worse, which oftentimes happens, um, your chances of feeling pretty bad um, for three months, a year, two years, um, increases statistically. So what that means for you, if you are someone who has suffered a head injury and you have concussion symptoms and it's been longer than a month and you really wanna seek treatment and treatment that specializes in brain remapping, you wanna to go to a physician that understands the whole entire nervous system and that is not just going to treat with the medication and is going to hands-on remap your nervous system. There's nothing wrong with medications. However, when it comes to the brain and central nervous system, medications don't work so well. Um, as a quick note, just to explain why they don't work well is because we have receptors all over our brain that respond to the same chemicals. So let's say it's dopamine, um, it could be uh, neuroepinephrine, it could be serotonin, all that stuff. Uh, Parkinson's is a really good disease, or disease to talk about. So we give them L-DOPA, which is a form of dopamine, and it, it's gonna bind everywhere in the brain. Every receptor that accepts dopamine, that dopamine will bind. Well, unfortunately, there's receptors in a Parkinson's patient we don't want it to bind to. We know it's gonna cause even worse movement disorder. But then there's certain receptors that will allow, decrease the rigidity and decrease the freezing and will help those symptoms. Um, but unfortunately, because we cannot selectively pick which receptor our medication binds to, they tend not to work so well. So especially when it comes to a concussion patient where they're having these global deficits where their metabolic energy is just being taxed so much. When I say metabolic, I mean your blood has to get to every neuron and give it nutrients. It has to give it oxygen, it has to give it glucose when it fires. If they're firing so fast and they're not getting that blood up there, they die because they don't have the nutrients. So that gl the global impact of having concussion and then the fact that your brain is most likely firing a lot more excitatory pathways versus um, activating more inhibitory pathways. So you're using up a lot of energy, you're not getting enough blood to those areas and they get less and less healthy. So the next question is what is post-concussion syndrome? So what post-concussion syndrome is, is that you have a concussion, you rest, you didn't go return back to play, you didn't return back to work in a month and you still feel symptomatic. And oftentimes you're feeling worse than ever because you have all new symptoms piling up. So that would be called and classified, you can have an ICD-9 code for this, or ICD-10 code for this, saying you have post-concussion syndrome, meaning that the literature said you were supposed to be better in this time frame, but you're not. Well, one thing to hopefully give you a little bit of hope and encouragement is that there are an endless amount of patients out there that had one concussion, 10 concussions, they don't even remember if they had a concussion or not, but they have all the concussion symptoms and they're not better years, two years afterwards. So there's a large population 
of people that are walking around. What really seems, it's almost like a um, invisible disease because you suffer so much because the nature of the brain, it controls everything, it controls who we are as people, um, it, con it controls our emotionality, our ability to think, our ability to remember or coordinate and not fall over. Um, but on the outside, you physically look okay. So that is what post concussion syndrome is. Now, if you're in that bracket and you have not um, sought for treatment, it's a great idea to get treatment. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it answered some questions. Again, I am Dr. Angela Gabella. My practice is called Precision Brain Center, and I'm located in Raleigh, North Carolina.